Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can import a DRM free, copyright free EPUB ebook into Apple Books and then read it aloud with text to speech in Apple Books. It works really great and I have done videos about that before, but now I will show you how you can import a downloaded EPUB ebook into Apple Books first. So, if you have a Mac, iPhone and iPad, you can set up so that your downloaded files gets into the same folder in iCloud Drive so you can get to it on all your Apple devices. So, if you have done the setup correctly, you will simply just open the files app and here you see in iCloud Drive you have a downloads folder and in that folder you get all your downloaded files. And here you can see a EPUB file Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson and this EPUB file I have downloaded via Thor newsletter. As you can see here in this mail I've got from Thor or Tor Books. Here you can see I am a member of Tor ebook, ebook Club. And now I can download Shadow of Self, a Mistborn Saga EPUB completely free via this newsletter. So go check Tor.com out and subscribe to their newsletter. You get a lot of really good books there. So I have downloaded this copy and then it gets into this folder. Now from here you can add this to Apple Books by just clicking on the file actually and it opens directly in Apple Books if you have your iPad or iPhone or Mac set up to use as your EPUB reader. But you can also do this a long press on the file itself. You can see the info here that it is an EPUB file, as you can see, 8.5 megabytes in size. So you can also long press and share and then share it to Apple Books if you want. But as I said, I will only just click on the file and now it has opened in Apple Books and from here I can read the book as usual if I want as you can see just going forward in the book and so on I can also skip to chapter one if I want and read from here and I can, as usual, do some settings. I usually prefer the iOne font because it has a better line space than the other fonts. But you can, of course, use, for example, Charter, like so, Atilas. But I prefer iOne, like this, because it's a bit larger and has a uh, better line spacing for me. And down here you can see how large the book is in pages. 634 pages with this font. And if I choose another font, for example, uh, Charter, it will have 619 pages instead. So you can think about that when choosing a font you get less or more pages and of course by raising the font size you get more pages too of course so 860 with this font size if i lower that you get 619 with charter but as i said iovan is what i use 634 because the the font the text is bigger and has uh, line spacing as actually exactly as I want it. So now I can easily 
read by using natural voices from Apple. Uh, it has uh, some neural engine voices that learns the more you use them so it uh, can read better and better and actually is very very natural to me so let's see if I raise the volume here and then now I can just swipe down with two fingers from the top my lord flog asked glancing toward the chamber behind them they're all here my lord are you ready not turning away from the setting sun Winston raised a finger to hush the bodyguard the balcony and as you can see it's very natural speaking so he had a nice view of the field of rebirth long shadows stretched from the statues of the ascended warrior and the last emperor in the green park where according to fanciful legend their corpses had been discovered following the great catacinder and the final ascension the air was muggy slightly and from here in this menu you can pause and skip forward and rewind to different pages and also set the different speeds as you can see really love that but if you want to turn off this uh, speak screen feature that is an accessibility feature then you had to press this cross like so now you have turned off voice over feature for speak the screen but as i said it's very easy to turn it on by your swiping down on the page So that is how easy it is to import an EPUB file into Apple Books on your iPhone, iPad or Mac. And as I said, this download folder is the same on all three devices. If you download a file on the Mac, you can get it here on your iPad and so on. If we go into settings here, we can go into accessibility. Here we have some cool settings for the read aloud feature spoken content you can choose in accessibility here we have speak selection i never use because i want to read the whole book the all the pages and so on i use speak screen and as you can see if you turn speak screen on you should swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content on the screen you have the speech controller that is the one that uh, you see when you have turned this feature on you can always have that on if you want if you instead of swiping down you can have this on and you always have this on as you can see that is also a cool feature to know about so if you turn this on you will always have that available and as i said before in an earlier video this feature works best in apple books because in apple books you can uh, do that easily with natural voices from uh, siri and you can also have the cursor highlight the words you are reading but first let's see here long press to read all the content you can double tap to speak on touch as you can see here idle opacity you can choose how much of the visibility of the control menu you will have on the screen and highlight content is one of the coolest feature i think you can do this from here you can choose words sentences or words and sentences and i have usually have best experience with sentences because the words could be dragging and lagging when reading sentences is more in sync with what you read and I choose underline instead of background color. But of course you can choose a background color if you prefer and then you can have the default or choose different colors here. So by doing that, I can go back into the book itself here. As you see now, when I, I can turn down the volume a bit so you can hear me better when, when doing this. If I swipe down now, my lord, flock asked, glancing toward the chamber behind them. They're all here, my 
You see that uh, the content is highlighted, every sentence is highlighted, so I can easily see where I am in the book. So I can follow along while reading really easily. I love that. This makes me read a lot more and even faster actually. And I also learn how to pronounce different words that I don't know about. So I really love that. And when it came to the bottom of the page, you see that it turns the page automatically for you. And <clears throat> I have got some questions about that because some say that they have to wait uh, uh, a, very, a few seconds every time it turns the page. But for me, it's almost instant. It takes uh, about the same as turning the page with a finger. So I don't know what's wrong with those that have that problem. As you can see soon, when it comes to the bottom, it will turn the page quite instant for me. And it does that on the iPhone too, no problem at all. As you can see now, now, you see, I don't have to wait before the page are turned and she starts to speak again. So I think that's a really great feature. So the speak screen feature works really great. I think you have this settings for the highlight content. That is what I use the most here. You can also add different uh, pronunciations if you prefer. If you have some strange words in the book you are reading, you can add them here. So. Uh, the voices pronounce them better. Usually with names I do that actually sometimes. Voices then, we have different languages as you can see here. Uh, in this example I use English because these voices are the best natural speaking voices. They use the neural engine best. The English, English versions of the voices. And I use the US versions of the voices. And you should use the Siri voices because these are the best sounding natural voices. You should use the Siri versions of the voices, even if you choose another language like Swedish, for example, that I, that I have as my natural language. But if you use English, you should have these. And I use voice five because uh, it's uh, the newest voice. And I think that's one of the best natural voices. And as you can see, the, uh, the size of the voice is also almost the, the double of the size of voice one. So I think that is also one reason why it sounds better. But you can try all them out and see which is best for you. I usually have voice one. I have always used voice one before. You can hear how that sounds here. Hi, I'm Siri. We can raise the volume and try again. Hi, I'm Siri. That is a really good voice too. But I use voice five now at the moment because it's a brand new one. The other voices you need to download, I haven't done that. Uh, you can of course do that and listen to them and so on. So that is the features you need to turn on for this to work. I love that. And here you can have the speed of the voice. I have 1.3 in speed. Usually for me, of course, you can put it in the middle to have 
zero in speed. If you prefer to have it a bit lower rate when reading. But I have 1.3 because I love to read in that speed. It works for me best. So now I have show you how to import a downloaded EPUB ebook file into Apple Books. Now you can listen to it or you can read just like doing this as normally or you can read and listen at the same time and that is the way I usually do it by just he glanced across the room to swiping the down the on the screen now I can read and listen Excellent. at the same time he stepped up to the bar then turned and raised his hands to draw everyone's attention the gesture exposed the twinkling diamond cuff links he wore on his stiff white shirt the settings were wooden of course ladies and gentlemen he said welcome to our little auction the bidding begins now and it ends when I hear the offer I like most he said nothing more too much talk would kill the drama Winston took the drink. So that's it. That is what I have to show you in this video. Okay, bye.